I'm Phenom is a Vivo X60 Pro and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now you can clearly see that this device right here is locked uh, with a pattern or with a Google account or basically both of them. So to basically finish up the setup I would need to unlock it providing one of those. So assuming I don't know any of those, what we're gonna do is bypass it uh, by just uh, with the SIM card. So anyway. Uh, the SIM card that you're going to use for this, because you need one, uh, does need to have a pin on it. So you can pop it into some kind of other device, uh, set up a pin on it, and then use it to insert it into here. So anyway, I'm going to take off the case of it, because I do need to access the tray, which is at the bottom of the phone. So let's pop it out. There we go, and now we'll insert the SIM card. So what you will see right now will be the pen showing up on the screen once it reads it, there we go. And what you want to do is enter the pen. This will keep us on a lock screen, so you should see this thing right here, Android setup not signed in, and I swipe that to the right, or uh, to the left I mean, on the right you will have the little gear icon which you want to click on and then select manage which will take you to notifications now in here we're gonna scroll down to see all from last seven days and then you want to scroll all the way down and you'll see youtube click on it from here we're gonna now click on the icon itself and select open once you open up YouTube, you want to click on the account icon. And now, quickly make sure. So in here, we're going to go into settings. About. And then Google Privacy Policy, which will open up our browser. From here, select Accept and No Thanks. And right at the top, navigate to hardreset.info slash bypass. Now I'll type it in and you can pause the video if you need a moment to write it down. So, like so. If you need that moment, pause it right now. And in here, uh, you'll get a pop-up, so just consent to this and scroll down and you will find settings icon. And click on it and this will take you to the phone settings. So in here, I'm gonna start off by scrolling down to shortcuts and accessibility. And then you're gonna look for accessibility at the bottom and accessibility menu, which is right at the top and simply enable it, allow, okay, and then go back and go back once more, once more to the main settings page. And from here, we're now gonna go to apps, apps and notification, right over here. And we need to turn off a couple apps. So you wanna select see all 35 apps, tap on the three dots and show system. And from here, you're looking number one for uh, I believe Google Play services. Just let me make sure uh, if we're going to disable one or multiple. Okay, we're apparently gonna start off with the Android setup. So let's just select Android setup. Now there's two of them, so keep that in mind. Uh, so we have Android setup, you wanna disable, disable up, and then for stop, go back. Let's go to the second one as well. For stop, okay. So as you can see, we have now disabled two different uh, setups. As you can see, there's two of them. And now we're gonna go down to Google Play services. So scroll down, C, E, F, there we go, G, Google Play 
services right over here. Click on it and select disable, and disable app. And now I'm also gonna select for stop. And I believe that's all we need to disable. So yeah. So now once you have disabled the two different setups and play services, hold the power key and select restart. Now additionally while it's rebooting I'm gonna take out the sim card because it's not needed anymore. And it still gave me the pen because I didn't do it quick enough. Oh, I guess... Let's see what will happen. Okay, there we go. So I didn't need to actually put it in, I just glitched out. So anyway, and here you can see that you are now back in the setup screen. So let's progress through the setup. Now, as you can see, this will start doing whatever it's doing right now. It's gonna check for updates, then kind of glitch out and just do this kind of forever. So what we need to do is click on this little icon for accessibility, then go to assistant and this will show up settings just for a moment, I believe. Okay, I guess it's not disappearing. So let's select settings now. There's a chance that this will kind of just show up for a second disappear so you will need to try to do it quickly when you press on settings uh, or accessibility settings and then you also need to select enable so i'm going to navigate to settings and then you want to select enable right here and then go back and as you can see it just kind of skipped over the verification uh, step of the setup so we can now finish up the setup of our device now it doesn't really matter what you select right here because we still need to perform a factory reset of the device right now we just kind of glitched through it and this will allow us to finish up the setup and have access to uh, full uh, settings Okay, so once you have access to the home screen, navigate to the settings right over here. And then you wanna scroll down to system, reset options, delete all data, factory reset, and then select erase all data. And once you tap on it once more, it will begin the process. Now, I won't be going over the factory reset of the device on camera just because uh, once you click on this button, the process will be finished. And uh, this will just take a little bit more time for basically no reason and no actual value to you. So what will happen is it will perform that factory reset, will bring you back to the setup screen, at which point the device will be fully unlocked and you can set it up however you like. So it will be completely up to you how you go about it. You can skip connecting to Wi-Fi, you can log in if you want to, you can add your Google account or not. It's like I said, completely up to you. So. Do click on that though, uh, even though you do have access right now to the home screen, the device is still technically locked. So that's why I'm telling you to perform a factory reset of it. So anyway, uh, this is how you would bypass the Google verification on this device. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.